AMD's like 7900 XT, not the XTX, but the XT, which is their second top of the line GPU, which launched for 900 and then has most recently has been available for like 800 in most cases, Mm -hmm. in most places. So that has like 20 gigs of VRAM and with taking ray tracing out of the picture is like consistently better for 4K gaming than the 4070 Ti was. Mm. And so the launch of this is kind of like an answer to that as well um, yeah. because this is now more performative, especially this overclocked model is faster than the 7900 XT and ahead of the launch of this GPU, AMD dropped the price of of the 7900 XT to 749 USD or lower and um, they said it's like a temporary price drop just for the quarter, which is weird. They should just make it permanent. But it actually mm. makes that GPU like better value. And when when it happened, you know, it, like models were being sold for like seven hundred and ten bucks over on Newegg, hmm. which is which is good for like a you know a four K gaming card because that's a four K gaming card just like this one. Um, so the only reason why I'm talking about price is because of AMD's price drop, and it makes you go, oh, okay, yeah. So this is at the same price point. This is better value because it's faster. It just mm. goes without saying. And you've got Nvidia's DLSS, frame generation, reflex, AV1 encoding, you know, like all the content creation and yeah. other bells and, and whistles that, that you pay a premium for because they're the best versions of those technologies. Um, yeah. It just goes without saying. So that warrants, I mean, if you are purchasing this card, you probably are dabbling a little bit into those kind of technology or you want to take advantage of them or you just want to have them in your back pocket so maybe yeah. paying that extra money is worth it yeah, yeah. and yeah it's like not this just price. performance it's also kind no. of like the bells and whistles that come with it yeah exactly and the thing is that like at 4k mm. like dlss is something you enable anyway like absolutely even on a 4090 right doesn't matter because at 4k the DLSS quality mode is as good as native and in some case better, looks mm. better. That's a, a, a fact, even though, you know, you're talking about AI upscaling um, and there are like, you know, certain issues with ghosting in some games. Like, you know, it's it's not perfect, but... It's it there. Is, it's there and it's free performance. Yeah. And at 4K, you kind of... It, it actually makes the card more efficient, games run faster. So like, you yeah. know, at 4K with DLSS, this is like an absolute monster. It's like triple digits. Like if it's 4K um, with DLSS, in most cases you're getting like an extra 20% performance so that 90 FPS becomes 120. You know, that's just the way it is. It's and that's so just cool to see the... I want to try and make sure I get this, <laughs> get this right. But mm. the 7 series, like usually that's the mid-range card. Yeah, now it's and, high end. And now it's bleeding into the 4K, even to the point where you're you're sitting here saying that you can hit triple digits. It's like, I yeah. remember the 2070 or the 1070 and they were just comp- like high end 1080p cards and then getting into 1440p. Yeah, like uh, entry level. Yeah. yeah. And now we're at the stage two, two more generate two generations later, where we're talking four K on this on the forty seventy super. It's like what the in yeah. the five thousand series. Like what's going to happen on the five thousand series? Yeah. Are we are we is the ho- the whole stack's going to move up closer yeah, to four K? Like I, I think like it'll kind of like level out at this point because I don't see it pushing because like there's a limit to what you can charge and what you can like how many high-end cards and stuff because like, you know, the goalposts have changed mm. for like GPUs in terms of like pricing for high-end, mid-range and low-end. Like there's huge gaps between them now. Mm. Um, and I think the 50 series... But the thing is like the, like the 50 series is going to be interesting because like a 5070, you know, w- would potentially be as performative as a 4090. Yeah, that's, what that hits, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, that, that should hits, be similar performance. And if, yeah, because like the 4070 Super is technically faster than a, a, a 3090. 3090, comes, 3090, yeah. yeah. Right? Um, it matches it in most games, right? And the 3090 is, was, is still like a beast of a card. So that's what, like, you know, like if they can get that, that's going to be insane. Like, yeah. I don't know how they do that. But like, and I don't. 
And mm. also the Steam charts are moving. Like if we, we've talked about this a lot on the podcast is yep. gamers are currently in transition between 1080p and 1440p. And every day That's there's right. more, fo- more 1440p monitors um, being adopted. Right. But 4K, that is still... Uh, and I'm just off the top of my head, less than 5% of gamers are running 4K. And it's because to run 4K natively in games, mm. um, it just like it just requires it's just so many more pixels. Like the performance mm. drop off. Like let's say like you get like a, a GPU like the um, the 4060 or like the 4070. Like what happens is that like if you run it at 1080p, it's like yep, yeah, you're you're tapping into the GPU for a game that taps into the GPU's power. Like mm-hmm. there's no bottlenecks. You hit that impressive level of performance right let's say 150 fps mm-hmm. then you jump to 1440p and you lose 40 percent of that performance right off the bat just because you're having to do so much the gpu's tax so much more mm-hmm. you go okay and then you jump to 4k and then you got then you lose another 40 to 50 percent because yeah. that jump from 1440p to 4k requires so much more and memory speed as well and then like extra things like go into it and it just really taxes the gpu yeah. So then you go from like 150 to like 80 and then down to like in the 30s. Yeah, it's 1080p, 4K, and this is purely just off resolution. We're not talking like memory speeds or anything like that. Is 10, um, 4K is four times... Eight 10, times the pixel eight, count. Eight, yeah. eight times the pixel count. So that means you need just just on resolution eight times the performance if you're running yes. yeah. <laughs> a 1080p monitor so like yeah that's moving... right that's why yeah that's yeah. why it's so difficult like people like gpus all struggle at 4k mm. because 1080p yeah that's right it's eight times basically your gpu's working eight times harder to eight render times. 4K <laughs> than it would at 1080p and that's not without talking about like the memory speeds and like the vram right as we were talking before the show yeah. and stuff like that like yeah you might have a entry level 4k card but if you're lacking on the vram front like you you're gonna hit a bottleneck like just because 4k is so demanding in gaming so this five that like the nvidia's next gen um gpus it's gonna be interesting because if they don't make them cheaper i suppose well 4k monitors are becoming cheaper yeah oh yeah yeah like like but also as well, like, you know how we, like, last couple of episodes, how we've gone through, like, the millions of OLED ultrawides that have been yeah. announced at yeah, yeah. Um, CES, right? So, like, mm. like this year, like, there's going to be so many people that go ultra wide and go OLED mm-hmm. or high refresh rate 1440p, right? So, like, you know, 240 yes. hertz, 1440p. See, now this card, the 4070 Perfect. Ti Super, like, yeah, it's a great 4K card, but Ultra wide is in between 1440p and 4K. Yes, it's like sits in the even middle better in terms of ultra it. wide. Yeah, so you're going to get triple digits for an ultra wide. You're going to get that's what you want. You know, in like a Overwatch, or whatever, you're going to hit that 200 FPS at 1440p. Mm. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, maybe they are. Maybe the Nvidia and AMD are. Pardon me. Looking at the um, adoption for ultra wide and trying to, I don't know, navigate both the entry level 4K world, but also accommodate for ultra wide and um, really high refresh rate 1440p. Yeah, I think the Is next that- generation kind of has to like oh. move on from 1080p. Oh, you got to leave it in the. I mean, who's running it? I mean, most people. <laughs> it's, yeah, I know. It's the fastest growing resolution. Um, but also, like, if you look at, like, like the 5060, right? I think the 5060 needs to say that, yeah, it's a beast at 1080p, of mm. course. and But it's also good for 1440p. But the thing that always gets forgotten when it comes to GP reviews and, um, I guess... The perception out there when it comes to GP reviews is that like I've seen people say that you know complaining about modern GPUs um, and prices is that like oh like you know that the 1060 was a 1080p card in 2016 and now the 4060 is a 1080p card in 2023 so what gives 
and games. well, games look way wing. better. <laughs> way better. What are we talking and, about, Costa? Who is saying yeah, this? Give me their names. <laughs> Give me their names. <laughs> this is the perception, though. Like you know, like you know. I hear anyway. what you say. I hear. I hear. What, I hear what you say. That, but like that this is... argument. Yeah, like yeah, it's I... different now. So like, it... like even though we talk about like resolution, but at the same time, like this games get way more involved. Yeah, but look I think at the, the 50 just series... look at the size of games, and I'm, I'm talking about like the storage required for them. Like you yeah. talk about that in 2016, no one was like, yeah, Call of Duty was still big. That game's always been big, but then they like most games weren't 120 gigabytes back then. Like we were yeah, talking maybe like 60, 50 gig or something like that. Oh, like 30, 40. Like remember yeah. like when games started being like 30, 40 gig and you're like, oh shit, this like, is oh, huge. This is bullshit. Because <laughs> they all used to fit on um, like back in the day on DVDs, right? So mm. they all, every game was basically 8 to 10 gig once yeah. it was uncompressed, right? Every single game. So you had like a terabyte drive and you're like, that's like hundreds of games or whatever mm. it is because like game every game is like 8 to 10 gig. And then the new consoles come and then the new games come to PC and then it's like 30, 40 gig. And you're like, oh, oh, so now this hard drive that I had can only store a fraction of the games. Uh oh. <laughs> and then Call of Duty, whatever comes out, and you're like, it's, guess what? It's 150 gig if you want to install the multiplayer and the campaign. And you're like, what? 100 and yeah. what now? You, you're saying 25% of my console is this game? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like uh, one terabyte Xbox or PS5. And basically, fifteen percent of the storage is relegated to Call of Duty. Yeah, and then you got the whole influx of um, portable SSDs designed for console storage as oh, well. Except you can't really because use them. You have to use the fast SSDs on the PS5s and Xbox. Yeah, so that's what that's... has made like because um, like back it... in the day, because when when that happened, like on the Xbox One and PS4, you could just connect like a a chip, yeah. four terabyte. SSD, like, you know, yeah. just USB drive. And granted, those are, like, super slow. Like, you can't go back to that. The, <laughs> like, trying to play a game on PS4 now is, like, an exercise in how much patience do you have. <laughs> like, a game that takes, like, two minutes to load versus three seconds. It's, like, it, like the difference is not even generational. It's, like, from a different universe, right? Like, <laughs> You're benchmarking your patience. <laughs> exactly. You don't need that right now, Costa. You, you've, you've done yeah, enough. enough. But- <laughs> <laughs> now this is um yeah this next ne- next generation is going to be interesting i want to see what I, I really do hope and i want this for just gamers in general um to move off of 1080p and move to 1440p because the that pixel is, density just is, is yeah so is good noticeable. it's so good and if you can do that and you're listening to this um do it Pick up one of these um, new 4070 super cards and you will be completely fine. Or unless you have a more specific, better recommendation. No, I think the 4070 super, if you can get it for, you know, not too at the at, at the actual MSRP or not too much more, yeah. is probably the is the best value brand new GPU from NVIDIA. Yeah. And because also... It, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just going to recommend to people the ultra wide. Um, if you have been thinking about ultra wide gaming, twenty one by nine aspect ratio, more more yeah. game, more and more games every day, especially new launches are adopting this aspect ratio, which is really oh. nice because mm-hmm. then you've got native. Um, I don't like stretched on the side. If you've if any listeners have read any of my reviews, I tear apart games that have stretched um aspect ratios i think it's weak (laughs) on the developer front especially when ultra wide is here to stay um i don't think you have any excuse as a developer ubisoft i'm looking at you directly um Mm. to not support ultra wide especially with these graphics cards coming out that dominate at that aspect ratio and resolution Yeah, Um, the 4070 super and the new ti super are great for ultra wide yeah yeah. Because that's kind of like a good sweet spot, I think. Mm. Yeah, because so like if, going, going to 4K is just too taxing and ultra wide yeah. is something that it's like, okay, it's not as taxing, so more GPUs are now capable. And because the 4070 Super is like a, its biggest bump is kind of like for ultra wide res. 
Mm. So like, you know, the biggest, like the, it's better at 1440p compared to the 4070 for the same price, mm. but it's even better when you just bump that resolution just that bit more to ultra wide. So yeah. that's, that's why it makes it like a, probably the best value card. Yeah. 